हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यूर मोस्ट वेलकम विद्या भारती काशी प्रांत यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम संतोष पांडे साइंस टीचर फ्रॉम ज्वाला देवी सरस्वती विद्या मंदिर इंटर कॉलेज सिविल लाइंस प्रयागराज टुडे वी आर स्टडी अबाउट द साइंस ऑफ क्लास सिक्स व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन एन सी सिलेबस इन नेक्स्ट वीडियोज वी आर स्टडी अबाउट द clarification of first chapter and in this video i give you the most important section that is the exercise question solution and some other important question which are related with your examination then come on the chapter first food where does it come from in this we are study about the food varieties the food materials and sources here the spelling mistakes not yes it is the c plant parts and animal products as food plant parts as food and the what do we animal eat the second slide the solution of test book questions the first question for you do you find that all living beings need the same kind of food after clarification of chapter number first what you find the question is do you find that all living beings need the same kinds of food the answer is no all living beings do not need same kinds of food the second question name five plants and their parts that we eat it will be met by you in the exercise tables here the paddy it will be seed of paddy are used as food wheat the seeds of wheat are also used as foods the mustard plant seeds and leaves of mustard plants are used at eating brinjal plant it will be the fruits and the potato plants it will also the stems are used as food the third question is match the items given in column a with those in column b here column a have the questions milk curd paneer and ghee or the animal products here make a arrow column b milk curd paneer ghee are the animal products spinach cauliflower and carrot or vegetables lions and tigers eat other animals hence they are called carnivores and herbivores eat plant and plant products it is the third question the fourth question is fill up the blanks here some words are given herbivores plant milk sugar cane and carnivore that are some words are given for this question the tiger is a here is the filling the blanks tiger is a here philip it carnivores because it eats only meat means tiger is a carnivores animals deer eat only plant products and so is called here is the filling that is the herbivores question number c parrot eats only here the blank and in this we are fill up plant parrot eats only plants the third fourth question d here is the fill, fill the 
that we drink which comes from cows buffaloes and goats is an animal product that is the milk milk is the animal product which are find from cows buffaloes and goats the e question number last we get sugar from the last point is sugar cane we get sugar from sugar cane we also get the sugar from sugar beet but here is no options fill up the sugar beet in this here is the option sugar cane hence we are fill sugar cane in this question next question is some extra questions these are some questions given in your books but some questions which are from your test book what is food the first question is what is food then answer here is the heading food here is also heading what is food the eatable substance eaten by humans and other animals to get energy for various activities for growth and development is called food what is food the eatable substance eaten by humans and other animals to get energy for various activities that is here is the that is here is the that is that is here that is for growth and development is called food question number 2 why should we eat cooked food we are some animals who eats not cooked raw food materials but we are eat cooked food materials why the answer we should eat cooked food because by cooking we can kill harmful germs and make it germless cooked food can be easily digested and absorbed by our body cooking also improves the taste of food there are three points by which we are eaten cooked food first one is the we should eat cooked food because first one is the cooking we can kill harmful germs first one is the we can kill harmful germs second one make it germless second one is cooked food can be easily digested and the third one is the we improves the taste of food that is the three points for we eat cooked food the next question is explain the importance of food for living organism explain the importance of food for living organism that is the heading here is the explain the important food importance of food for living organism what is the importance of this the answer is importance of food is there are four points it provides energy to do various activity the first point is it provides energy to do various activities second point is it helps in growth the third point is it helps to repair and replace 
damaged parts of the body and the fourth is it protects us from infections and diseases that is the four points to importance to explain the importance of food for living organism the next question explain the various sources of food items and ingredients with the help of example explain the various sources of food items and ingredients with the help of examples the answer is there are mainly two sources of ingredients of various food items first one is the plants first one is the plants and second one is the animals plants provide us food vegetables pulses grains cereals etc and the animals animals provide us milk egg meat etc here is the some figure points figure 1.2 figure 1.4 figure 1.5 and figure 1.6 in your textbook please make this diagram in your left page of the exercise book the question number 5 define the term herbivores we are explain it the answer herbivores the animals which eat only plants or plant products are called herbivores line it for example cow goat buffaloes etc these are herbivores next one question number 6 what are carnivores explain with examples that is the answer what are carnivores the animals which eat the animals which eat other animals are called carnivores that is for example some examples are lion and tiger carnivores generally eat herbivores and other carnivores carnivores generally it is the note that it is note here the note that carnivores generally eat herbivores and other carnivores it will be also eat herbivores and other carnivores question number seven define the term omnivores with example here is the answer omnivores what is the omnivores we are study in the textbook clarification the animals which eat both the plants and animals are called omnivores the most example most powerful example of omnivores is human we are omnivores the for example in the example of this that is cat dog human beings are also the omnivores example of omnivores question number 8 with the help of a flow chart so various contributors involved when we eat a chapati i tell to you for when we are clarify the chapter given a flow chart for making chapati from where chapati comes in our food here is farmer cultivates the wheat crop ripened wheat is cut when farmer cultivate the wheat crop then when farmers cultivate the wheat crop after this ripened wheat is cut 
and transported to market after this flour mill boys wheat and grinds to make flour after this we buy flour from the market and after this when flour is comes in my house mother cooks chapati with the help of flour and water mixing of flour and water make after cooking make a chapati it is my mother next most important question for you what is honey make a flow chart for the preparation of honey and ghee this questions for you because how we find the honey how we find the ghee it is the most important syllabus what is honey a sweet substance prepared by bees from the nectar that is sweet juice collected from flowers is called honey preparation of honey is the nectar in flowers nectar in flowers collected by honey bees nectar is collected by honey bees and after this is stored in beehives and after storing after storing it honey is extracted from beehives and we get the honey from the beehives of honey bees the preparation of ghee how we prepared cow cow is the source of main source of ghee cow gives us milk cow gives us milk this milk give us cream cream is extracted from the milk and this cream gets us butter and this butter when boiled it formed ghee and this is the process by which we find the ghee and this is the last and we are find the how we collected the ghee and the nectars from the various animals thank you